I would first like to start with a very short intro about the main economy because I think that this is crucial and fundamental in terms of whatever I'm going to say. First, the, the thing is that our mean economy, believe it or not, is fourth in the world in terms of economic performance if we control for some external and inevitable factors, variables. Maybe it may, it may str uh, seem strange, but the idea is that in the world there are currently only 32 so-called LLDCs, landlord developing countries, one of which is Armenia. And if we count those countries and we list in terms of GDP per capita counting by the purchasing power parity, Armenia is the seventh in the world. And if we exclude from this list three more countries of Caspian Sea, which are effectively commodity exporting countries, Armenia is in the fourth position. So this is really a, a very informative, uh, informative uh, issue in terms of understanding that the modern economy, economics theories that are written in the textbook, they are not, uh, they are not working properly anymore. Why? Because for these kind of countries, which are under very significant and considerable constraints, we need to create and we need to shape new economics. Something that we are going to do in, in our country, in Armenia, with the help of all the universities, all, all the parties concerned, all the stakeholders. The point is that Armenian economy is under such restrictions from both sides, close borders, uh, not possessing any kind of commodities, that we have to understand how to reshape all the all the famous policies, fiscal policy, monetary policy, contractionary, expansionary, because we need to create and we need to reshape our unique uniqueness in terms of in terms of future development. And in this sense, I would also like to, to uh, emphasize the role of, of uh, the theory of economics and the economic thoughts in general. Why? Because you, you know, currently when we uh, when we deal with the world of technologies, machine learning, artificial intelligence. Economics as a pure knowledge, as a, as a specific field of studies, is under a considerable threat. Why? Because nowadays you will never have an effective economics without, without technologies. This is something that has been uh, traditionally detached from the world of economics, disconnected. But we need to, we need to give breath back to economics in terms of, in terms of bringing it back to technologies, to, to artificial intelligence, and to understand that if you don't if you don't possess the material for the analysis, for the studies, economics is going to be about nothing. So that's why something that were men mentioned by our panelists, uh, Dr. Uh, Gabrielian and Mr. Gibasham, this is really very important for our world nowadays, and especially for the Armenian economics. But I, I, I would also like to emphasize the role of, of uh, universities in Armenia, because we are talking so much about uh, the, the lack of competencies from the university side. By the way, I agree totally about the competence-based approach for the universities because we are not preparing specialists, professionals in general. But, but we have to emphasize the competencies which are important for, for the, certain, the certain companies that are requiring those skills and knowledges. So that's why in this sense I would like also to turn to the, to the general trend and tendency of Armenian economic thought and education that we have met so far. Uh, I'm calling this uh, the, uh, the effect of outliers. What I mean by this, talking statistically, the idea is that so far we had a general decline in the average of the quality of education, namely economics education in countries. And there have been also some outliers which have been spread out from the, from the scatter plot. And those outliers, they were not decisive for our economy. And the role of the universities is to create a new tendency by bringing back those outliers into the general trend. Because universities have to show that their diploma are a guarantee for quality. Because as Mr. Jurbasham was saying that, that effectively university diploma is not important, that this is not by a self-purpose uh, claim, because this is the reason why universities have faced so far and why you see that university's diploma is not a guarantee. But starting from the point when you are sure that university can ensure a specific level, you will pay attention to the diploma. So, uh, I think that universities are playing a great, great role nowadays, and especially for Armenian universities, when we want to reshape and we want to revive Armenian economy. 
I said, I would also like to uh, reflect to uh, Dr. Fader's question regarding, and your question, what universities can propose nowadays, because in the, in the world of modern technologies, information technologies specifically, I'm talking to my students and saying that you can find professors which, with, who possess much higher level of proficiency, of much higher level of, of, uh, of, of uh, their specific targets. And, and, and I say that I can see, send you some links where you can sit at home in the sofa and just look what the professors are saying, which are the, the knowledge brought by which is just much more valuable than mine. So those, those claims are really a matter of consideration right now because we have to understand what university, what kind of role universities can play. But anyway, we come to conclusion that uh, universities can create unique knowledge, something that is not better, that is not worse than the one that is existing. But whenever you are discussing something with the students, you are doing research, you are doing studies, you are creating a knowledge that is unique, that is exceptional, that is not being refitted in any part of the world at any time. So this is very much, to, this is the value added, something that you were asking for. And also, I would like to stress the role of our cooperation, which was uh, touched upon several times by our panelists, that in fact, the only way out from this situation is to have the collaboration of, between all the stakeholders that are somehow interested to, to deal with kind of <sighs> completely sophisticated issues. Something that you mentioned in your question, it's really very hard to manage a university which is considered to be the biggest state economic university and you understand that you play a great role for the country, for the economy. This in terms of relative weight, it is even more than Harvard University for the United States than Armenian Economic University for Armenia in terms of relative weight. That's why I'm just, I would just suggest and offer my colleagues to work together for achieving the common goals.